Hi all, hope you're doing really well. My name is Martin and today I'm going to run through some of the, the effects and the gear that I've used on this song Pictures of Nowhere by Second Sided. A couple of weeks ago Colin Graham, who wrote the song, put a version up on YouTube of just him with the acoustic guitar. So this is my time to put some of the, the, the gear that I used, the pedals, the guitars, all the effects. I put a video up of uh, all that. So, if you're here because you like the song, brilliant. If you're here because you like guitar effects, guitars, equally brilliant as well. So, my plan is just to show you what I've got, how I did it, how I used it, and how I made the noises. So, I'll do this video, well, it might be a part for a few videos, just to see how, see how it goes, see how it takes me, and how quickly I run out of phone memory. So, without any further ado, let's go. Okay, so to start at the beginning, the guitar we use in the song, uh, this is a custom shop gold top 57, so it's an R7. Uh, I used this one guitar in the whole song, so everything on it is this. I'm lucky enough that I have one of these beauties. So, standard custom shop. Um, you can see all the, the beautiful checking on the, the lacquer there. There's custom bucker pickups that's in it. Nicely rusting away. Um, I love this guitar, wouldn't wouldn't change it for anything. Quite heavy, but um gives you all the sounds you need. And it's obviously got a beautiful strap, which is one that actually Jimi Hendrix used to have one similar, which David Gilmer was given as well. So yeah, that one guitar, whole song, yeah, does everything you need it to do. Beautiful. So onto the board itself. Now I've got a, a pedal board that I've made here into an old guitar case that I had. Yeah, it makes it easier to transport if I'm going to a studio or eventually going out to gig, hopefully. So the main the main centre of the board is this Boss ES8 switcher. Uh, eight loops allows you to put any any pedals into loops in any combination you want. Very versatile, great pedal. Um, I've got the Strymons, I've got the Big Sky, the Timeline, and the Mobius. The Big Sky, amazing reverb. So many different sounds in there. Timeline, again, likewise, so many different uh, delay effects in there. And the Mobius is great for all your modulation. Uh, chorus, phaser, flanger, whatever you want. And a, and a lot more than you could ever imagine. Uh, I've got the POG 2. Uh, octaves. Whether it's low octave, high octave, I think it's tremendous. Planet Waves tuner sitting there. Thorpey FX, Warthog at the back. Great sounding overdrive pedal. I've got a couple of pedals here by TrueFi. Love these. The colour driver at the back. It just it, you can turn it up so it sounds like an amazing fuzz. And the wrap pack at the front, which is obviously a, the take on the the, the wrap pedal. Amazing sounds. It's probably my most go-to pedal on this board. Is the wrap pack. I've got a Marshall Jackhammer. Again, it just it, it's very. You can. You can choose the EQ, you can fine tune this and you can actually get some really nice sounds out of it. TC Electronic Spark in there, just I use that as a boost. And the Keeley Compressor in there as well, just for, it really makes a massive difference to your clean tone. So, this board, totally love it. I've also got a wah wah, I've got the volume pedal in there as well. And just at the side of the board, we've got the Mission Engineering Expression pedal there. Yeah, that allows me to control the, the delays, the length of delay, the, the feedback tails on it, so great pedal as well. There are a few other things that aren't on the board just now, but maybe eventually I can get them in there. So yeah, that's that's the overall the overall board and the, the main effects that's there.
going to get to the guitar solo bit, um, you know, decided to use a, a, a kind of a phaser effect on there, um, not to make it sound like a guitar solo. So there's a couple of takes of different parts, uh, and here's what happened from the studio. <laughs> I think I fucked up one note, didn't I? I'm right with that, but there's maybe one little flummox note in there. Maybe do it once more just to shut me up. First, I know, I know, try it once more, please. Uh, probably not. <laughs> 